celebrating our multicultural community. That's the goal from Loving Day, a nationwide organization dedicated to building acceptance. And joining us this morning is Jason Davis with Denver in Color and Jonathan Castor, documentary filmer. So we're going to talk about that. How did you guys get involved in this? Just based on your project to try to document interracial marriage in, in Colorado. Well, uh, in the process of interviewing some of our, our subjects, we practically stumbled upon Loving Day, and then Jason took it upon himself to follow up on that and make contact with the Loving Day people, which, through his efforts and all that, got us here. And so now you're actually going to compete tomorrow in a triathlon to raise money for this. Correct. Event. Correct. Tomorrow I'm going to be uh, competing in the Denver Triathlon, and I'm dedicating it to Loving Day, and in turn I'm trying to raise uh, $3,000 in an effort to their cause. So if anybody decides they want to get involved and try to support that, we've got a link on our website, I'm sure. Yep. They'll help them do that. Are you trained? You ready for this? I've been training for the last 14 weeks, so it's going to be a, a nice challenge for me. What about this exact event excites you or makes you want to get involved? Um, Loving Day's cause. Their cause is a great one. They're out to fight racial prejudice through education and create a multicultural community. And uh, Denver's a great place for that. And we've come a long way since the... Mm -hmm. Big Supreme Court ruling back in 1967. What's left, though, to accomplish for us? What, what do you still need to work on? There are always things to accomplish. You can always know more about the people that you take for granted. And our entire project, along with the Loving Day people, is to broaden up people's awareness of that love comes in all shapes, color, colors, sizes, flavors. And just because you love someone shouldn't mean anything more than that. And we want to show how Denver is a very accepting community for people of of all forms. So in terms of deadlines, you're working on a film. When do you expect that will be finished? It's done when it's done. Okay. <laughs> That's how it goes with films, right? Well, uh, some projects take their own time and uh, finding the right people who have stories to tell and putting it all together takes time and we're really enjoying the process. Good. Good to know that you're found Denver to be, to be an accepting community. It's fabulous. Now we know you've got a triathlon, so then when is the actual Loving Day celebration? That's also tomorrow, after the triathlon? Correct. Tomorrow <laughs> I'm going to be uh, doing the Denver Triathlon, mm -hmm. and following that at 3 p.m. at the Diving Bar, that's on uh, 1380 South Broadway at 3 p.m. We're going to do a Loving Day celebration. Great. We're going to have some good raffle prizes, a great DJ flying out from Miami. Oh, okay. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And you're going to be a little sore, possibly. <laughs> sore, but I still have a good time, though. Well, good. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. That's the Loving Day celebration. It takes place tomorrow. For more information, just go to our website, thedenverchannel.com. We'll have links there for you. So, 